everyone, and welcome to the Flirting with Travel podcast. This is Misty. I'm Diambe. And I'm Lexi. And today we have a special edition of social distancing. So we've pre-recorded 16 episodes, but with everything going on in the world, we wanted to check in with you from our different corners of the world. So I'm in Las Vegas right now. I am in Nassau, Bahamas. And I am in Kuwait. This is how life has affected us with the uh, whole coronavirus. Oh, I went to full lockdown? No, not yet. Inshallah. Hopefully it happens. I'd love it. Inshallah. Why are you wanting full lockdown? So I could take a paid vacation and sit at home and do some stuff I want to do at home. Oh, I mean, I guess that does sound nice. Yeah. Yeah, of the three of us, only one person is actually not working right now. I, first of all, okay, I, the Rona, my schedule, the way it's set up, I will not be judged. <laughs> my time. I feel like even without this, you took all of March off just because it was like your birthday month. No, so I don't think that, your life has actually changed with this, has it? Yes, it has. Um, first of all, I did work the first week. And then I took the next two weeks off, and then I had vacation at the end. And then, you know, I took April off. I'll probably take May off. Why does okay, it sound so. like you actually don't have a job? <laughs> I mean, right now, I guess I don't. Who knows with the airlines? No, I think things are going to go well, especially with the whole government, like, um, interception and whatnot. As Misty would say, inshallah. Mm-hmm. Okay, how are your groceries doing? It's not been too bad in Vegas. They finally restocked water. There's no toilet paper to be found anywhere. Um, I went yesterday. The veggies are back. The first time I gone to the grocery store, right when the uh, governor has said that they were going to do, um, like, only essential businesses could stay open, everything was gone except, like, vegetarian stuff. So I went down, like, the soup aisle and all of the broth is gone, but the low sodium vegetable broth was still there. And I was like, well, people still don't want to be healthy. The veggies were there. Then the next time I had gone back, the real fear had set in because even then the veggies were gone. I was like, it got so bad. You all had to buy salads. What about <laughs> um, the toilet paper in the grocery stores? I have not seen toilet paper in like three weeks. Good we thing I actually here. stocked up and I have some. So I've. I'm one of the lucky ones. I don't know what other people are doing, buying bidets. Did you just say they don't have toilet paper there? Is that what you said? Me? Misty. No, I said we have it. We're good. Oh. Like, they fully stock the grocery stores. They keep restocking. Okay. We're not so having those issues. Do you guys, do your grocery stores have, like, limitations on things, like eggs or, mm -hmm. um, I don't know, toilet paper, those things that people are, like, panic buying? Mm -mm. yes so only two milks which i think is funny because who's buying more than two gallons of milk that shit's gonna go bad but also two only kids. two toilet papers two cases of water two loaves of bread they haven't limited pasta and rice which is why i think that's still empty you cannot mm -hmm. find pasta um they they did wow. start limiting and if you go to our stories you'll see um the post that I put up about like what they're limiting and stuff. I went up mm. to the register with four cartons of eggs and they were like, mm -mm, put that back. Were you just put testing them? Why do you need four cartons of eggs? No, because this was before they had put the signage up around the store. So over mm -hmm. like where the eggs were, they didn't have like signage saying you could only take two. So right. they there's had why. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> We're all worried about the road. Alexi's like, these damn fruit flies. <laughs> oh my gosh, you don't even know what life is like over here with the flies. But yes, go, let's talk about this deadly disease. That's what's really afflicting us. Um, yeah, so over here, so the paper is still, like, it's still in stock. They did start putting signage up about that as well. But even before that, like, I don't think it really hit. I don't think it really hit until people until there were announced cases of COVID-19 on the island. And that's when people were like, oh, because I think they thought they were untouchable or something. Like it wasn't affecting damn near every other country in the world. 
Like we're on an island, we're away from it. No, nah, homie, it's got us now. So people, so they started putting that stuff in place. And now that they have the restrictions, people can't just buy whatever they want to buy. Do they have signage? But I think people are not, it's not resonating if you don't see it because a lot of people are not see, having, like, I don't know anybody that has it. And I don't know anybody that has a second degree of somebody that has it. So you don't feel like it's real because of that. So, I mean, like this panic buying, one, I think that's an American thing because nobody's panic buying over here. They naturally buy a lot of food, but the country is keeping it stocked. Mm. Well, that's the thing. Supply chain hasn't broken down. People are just getting crazy for no reason. They're still able to restock and then people are going in and still panic buying more toilet paper. It's like, how much do you need before you realize I might have gone crazy? We have sprayers here. So even if you run out of tissue, you just have the little toilet sprayer that helps you out. You know what? So Amazon is selling those little um, detachable bidets. You can get it for like $20. Wow. I almost thought about buying one, but then I realized I'd just be one of those panicked people, so I decided not to. I don't know. I, I mean, if the day help. comes that she can. Well, I don't know. For here with the grocery stores, what they're doing is they have social distancing. So this country um, has really implemented. I will actually applaud them on how proactive they've been on controlling, like, how the masses are reacting to it. So social distancing is very normal here. We've gone to a curfew. We, um, from 5 p.m. to 04 in the morning, you cannot leave your house. All the stores, like grocery stores, are shut down by three. And most every business is closed right now. All the malls are closed, all the restaurants are closed. They do deliveries during the non-curfew hours. But the grocery store, when you walk in, you have to queue up. And then you go in and you have seats that are the six, what, six feet apart, mm -hmm. or, uh, three, two meters apart. And they are walking around, they give you hand sanitizer, they're handing out gloves. A lot of people here are wearing face masks. And then you go in and they still are only al out allowing a certain amount of people in the grocery stores. And so we have two different types of stores here. You have like your commercial grocery stores, huh? How do they monitor that? Like, do they, they count the number of people coming out and let that certain amount in? So yes. when you went in and they were doing that, how many people would you guesstimate, like, were in the store? Um, okay, so I went to Lulu's. I think there was maybe, like, 100, maybe 150 because it's large. Yeah. But the smaller, they're called co-ops here. The co-ops only allow 50 people in at a time makes sense. Mm. I think that was what was um, the amount, I would say, like between 50, 75 in the store. And they had that mm -hmm. signage up too. So um, it wasn't as organized as yours, Missy. Yours was like, I was like, oh, okay, I see what you guys are doing. But people were cognizant of keeping their, their distance and whatnot. And as far as like curfews, they're about to shut a lot more down. Um, and like pharmacies are closed at 1 p.m. now. Um, curfew is 5 p.m. So you have to be back, you know, to your house by that time or like off work or whatever, um, unless mm -hmm. you have special identification on your work ID and the um, government has like your information that you're allowed to be out past that time. Otherwise, you can be right. uh, They closed the beaches, although I still see some people down there from time to so time. So what is, what is the, the, when they arrest you, how long is it? What, what are they saying? How much is your jail time? Um, or your fine? I don't well, know. No, here it's, they're, they're telling you three years, $35,000. Three years. Three years, $35,000 oh, fine, and then I, deportation if you're not a citizen. I, I don't know what the jail time is. Um, I didn't catch that, but they did a, a conference yesterday. Um, the prime minister did a, a, a conference and he was just like, stay inside. He sounded like Sisolak Lex out there in <laughs> Las Vegas. He was like, stay inside, do not come outside. Then he got, went into like highlighting if you are, if you go out and you contract it, then you're going to be isolated. You're never going to see your friends and family again. Spend all the time isolation by yourself. You'll die alone. Do you want that? <laughs> then stay inside. <laughs> People are at the They're beaches. It doesn't sound right like now. it's working. Yeah. People are like, they're not staying inside I, be, mm -hmm. because they're, they're not dying. I think like, have you seen pandemic on um, Netflix? Yes. No. 
Okay, so you know it's like it's nobody is relating it to the Spanish flu, which took out like half a country. But that's what they're saying this is equivalent to. And people are just like, mm, I'm gonna live my life. YOLO. That's like a who's that? Vanessa Hudgens. I was like, girl, I would not have posted that. You need to take that down. She goes, I will not stop living my life. COVID will not stop me. You can't put me on house arrest. The government, blah, blah, blah. And then at the end, she goes, oh, maybe I shouldn't have posted that. You think? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's because people are like, you're realizing people who actually don't have hobbies. Some people live their entire life outside of their house. So this is very hard for them. I will say I that. don't even understand that. Let me stay home. <laughs> Let I'm me be natural. here. Yeah. Introverts right? this is get extroverts are like, oh, what is there to do? I would say the one thing that I miss doing is going to the movies. Like, I just, yeah. I want to be in a movie theater watching a movie, being immersed in the experience. And so, like, I have seen in my neighborhood a lot more people out and, like, walking around and going down to the mm -hmm. tennis courts and whatnot. And I'm like, yeah, six feet. I have like I have a walking partner who I don't even know how he became a walking partner, but like I'll see him around because he would be walking, I would be skating, and he was like, "Oh yeah, let's walk down to the tennis course together." And I had the dogs with me. I was like, "No, Georgia will bite you. I I wouldn't recommend you doing that." And, and friendly dog her probably her would. Because I'm going down here. Oh, she was side eyeing him like. But I think that it's forcing people to get out and kind of connect because there's nothing artificial i think about all the artificial ent entertainment is gone and so all you're left with is like the park walking Did running you beaches hear that netflix and um youtube is like lowering the, the speeds or whatever i think mm -mm. too many people are on there yeah josh was oh, yeah. On last night. i was like say word they <laughs> said supposedly 5g is is spreading corona faster Oh, God. No, I don't oh, know. They're, um, but so what have you guys been doing to stay entertained during all of this? Well, or, I mean, I'll start with you. I said I've got a job, so I've been working. And when I'm not working, I just want to go to sleep because I am mentally exhausted after just the marathon that is work. So how many this hours? This is why I'm hoping for a 24-hour quarantine. Man, I'm just like, can I be blessed with this? <laughs> How many hours a day do you work, Lex? Um, has it, it like on average probably about ten? But there are like some thirteen-hour days. Sometimes I'll eke out of there with like an eight-hour day, and that's nice. But I wouldn't even say it's an eight-hour. That's eight hours in the office, and I'll come home and like open up my laptop and start working again. But there's something about I guess like working from home where it's, you kind of can relax a little bit more. You know? Do you feel like that? Uh. Yes and no. I need to get like an office set up because when I'm working on a laptop, I'm like, oh my goodness, I'm used to having my three screens at work where you're just panoramic and then suddenly you're on like your little 14 inch laptop like, okay, okay. And then switching stuff. So it's half the time I'm like, I should just go in. That's so funny. <laughs> because I mean, not that I like, not, I'm not working. So right now I'm, I'm social distancing as I'm supposed to. But like on the plane, you know, you just work in such small quarters that it doesn't necessarily bother me. And I don't feel like when I get off of work, like, oh, I want all this space. So like, I'm fine curling up on, you know, like the couch with my laptop. And as long as I have like all my stuff within like arm's reach that I need, I'm okay with kind of tinkering around. Oh, no, I can be at home. So like this weekend was the first weekend I took off in maybe like three weeks or so. And I just, I kept on taking naps. I would get up and do a little <laughs> bit. And then I would just like lay down. <laughs> yeah. No, it felt so nice. Just getting sleep. I was getting real but tired. But my friends that aren't working here, like that's what they're doing. They're like, work out, fall asleep. Wake up, go do lunch at somebody's house. Go back home, fall asleep. Like they're doing sleepovers. Do lunch like one of my friends, she built. 14? That is anti-social distancing. That is, that's the wrong damn thing. I they built tents. Misty. They, they built tents. I mean, no, I have, I'm working. I don't have they time to do this. Like, I, I have to get up and be on the road by 4.30. Like, there's no, there's no, we're not hanging out. I, I'm in the house by 5. I, I wake back up and do it all over. 
I'm telling you, that's what happens when I go to work. I'm like, I am just here to work. I got to wake up at three in the morning and be on the road at four to be at work at five to come back. Like, I barely get six hours of sleep a night. I ain't going out, hanging out with you people. I ain't got time for it. <laughs> My body don't want it. But I don't know. I think that, like, it's, it's really nice, though, because they say the planet is getting a break. Emissions are, like, the lowest they've been in a long time. I have heard that. Look into articles about, like, Italy and the canals in Venice. You think, huh, I don't want to say this isn't the worst thing to happen, but it's probably the best thing to happen to the planet anyway. You could say it's a silver lining. There we go. Definitely. That's like, they said smog levels are so low right now. Water is, like, the waters are rebounding. This is really good. Okay, so. Let's not go that far. <laughs> eating. Okay. What about food? What about that? Do you find yourself, like, eating more or like less or same I've amount? I've just been eating all of my emotions, so I'm eating way more. Lexi, we saw your pants. <laughs> you ain't got shit in there but spices. <laughs> Today is turmeric and cayenne pepper. Mix that up. And coffee. She has uh, coffee grounds. And coffee grounds. All right. We're living. No, I mean, I've been cooking more because of the lack of delivery service and we can't go eat at restaurants, so. I definitely been cooking. And then I was afraid that we were gonna go onto the 24 hour curfew. So I went and like overbought a bunch of food, which is fine because it just means I, I'm cooking way more than I would normally cook. I, That's good, right? Is it good? How's your cooking going? She doesn't look convinced. Look, like, are you like, cooking? Is it? Me? Good? I don't know. <laughs> I bought some food, it's in the fridge. I will cook it eventually. What'd you buy, Lexi? I bought like fish and asparagus. I bought real food. Okay, so we okay, so you guys know we've been knowing keto, right? And through mm -hmm. all this, yeah. we've been sticking to it. And we bought like some salmon because there's like meals where it's just salmon with lemon and salmon sometimes with um asparagus and whatnot. And mm -hmm. like finally yesterday, after five weeks of doing it, Sam like cracked. She was like, I can't do any more damn salmon. I'm not doing this. <laughs> and I'm a little bit over it too. Like I just with I like it with something with vegetables. It helps to kind of break it up for me. I'm like, God damn it! And guess what's my lunch today? Just salmon. salmon. They don't even give you veggies to go with it. That seems really crazy. It's weird. It's a very weird meal plan she's on. I don't even it, understand why she's on it. This one is like the like lose weight one. Like I don't know what a regular keto plan would look like, but you have breakfast lunch, dinner, and then you have like that snack, like that brunch snack. So mm -hmm. I've not been, um, I've not been eating a whole lot. And probably because prior to like, um, being quarantined and whatnot, I was already on this diet. So it wasn't like I had to get used to it. I would imagine if I had just started it, I'd be looking at all those snacks or just any food that is available, looking at it like, I just want to eat you. I just want a snack. But a lot of people are talking about like they're just eating up all of their quarantine snacks and just find themselves <laughs> eating out of boredom. And that can very well happen. Like that happens to me when I'm working. And Lexi, you're a snacker anyway. I am. Well, that's why I've been kind of like just existing on snacks and Red Bull and coffee. That's wow. just, that's all I'm, all I'm ingesting what right now. Cooking? What you over there making? Huh? Cooking. I've seen some of your stuff on your stories. You're over there with, like, your Martha Stewart getting your whole Rachel Ray on. Like, oh, yeah, looking. last night I did um, a honey and uh, lemon glazed salmon with um, a garlic rice. And then the night before, I think I made, oh, I made um, a Alfredo pasta. I made the Alfredo sauce from scratch, put some sausage in there, and then I did air fried chicken to top what? it. I'm so confused. Huh? Why does Lexi look confused? Like, mm, mm, scratch. <laughs> just like, what? Look at that. What kind of time do you have on your hands that you have? Right, that you have the the energy to make this. Don't care, make it Alfredo by scratch. Oh, I don't right? know. I've just been cooking all day. I mean, I have an air fryer. Listen, I'm going to tell you the saving grace an air fryer saves you all the time. And I if you're at home and you have to cook a lot, I think air fryers are amazing. I do chicken, salmon, sausage, any meats I do in it. I've not done vegetables, but all of my fries or onion rings, stuff like that, you just, you can make it in there. Oh, I did. I made a cabbage, mashed potatoes from scratch, and um, I think I did like a chicken 
but that could be like cooking. So I guess, but what like eating? Are you eating more? Because people are finding oh, no. eating like just because they're bored. So that's so quick. No. No, because I actually eat more when I'm at work. When I'm at home, I don't really eat a lot because I'm doing stuff around the house. Like I'm a tinker. I, that's what I'm saying. Like I love to be in my house. I do all kinds of stuff. I'll rearrange furniture. I don't know. I just don't end up eating. And then when I'm cooking, I'm really actually just a drinker. Like I might be an alcoholic because I just drink all day. COVID will do that to you. <laughs> yeah. So who Honestly, needs who needs I, I, Oh my God. So you guys know the um the store that I went to that the market that had the wine because all the liquor mm-hmm. stores closed down here. Um so on Facebook it's like blowing up. People are like oh, you're leaving the stores open on the white part of town, um, but you closed down 700, which is like their version of Lee's, and you closed down any other liquor store, like we can't go and get anything, but you left it open on the white side of town because they put like food in there. So technically it's like, it's more of like a deli than a grocery store. But anyway, Mm -hmm. so Facebook, they're kicking up um, a fuss about that. So I think they're going to close it down. I was like- Bet you wish you would have gotten more than three bottles. We told you to buy more. Right? uh, today I'm about to go back up there and be like, can I have that case with all of you like your thirty dollar wine? I don't need the seventy, the eighty, and the hundred and twenty. Can you mark these prices down since you're probably gonna be closed like the rest of the liquor stores for a little bit? Can we talk about that? My Man, yeah. I so this is your the cheapness problem. is this still is- ruling you even when alcohol is about to become scarce. <laughs> like, excuse me, can I get that rubbing alcohol wine, please? <laughs> I know that that's a cheap wine. Because I'm going to be, because I'm like, going to run out of all my money spending it on one bottle of wine. I want the most amount. It's like quantity over here, not necessarily quality, Lexi. Beggars can't be choosers. How are you <laughs> drinking this wine? Are you just guzzling it? No, I'm Wine is to be sipped. <laughs> Sipping as I quarantine on my my back patio, looking out onto the ocean I can't get into. I'm so oh, man. over you. <laughs> but life must I don't be know, rough. This is gonna last for like. Can you imagine? I'm just really happy that I didn't travel because the way Kuwait is set up is that if you fly out, one you can't fly out right now. Okay, so you can't fly out. You can't fly in unless you're a Kuwaiti citizen, which is their country, so that makes sense. But if I had left, I wouldn't have been able to return. I would have had to wait till this is over. And the way that they're speaking, like they're in talks of the 24 hour um, quarantine. And then there, everybody sounds like this is gonna last until like July, August time frame. What? Oh, I just heard until the end of April. I'm sorry, why'd you take me back with that? No. (laughs) Like seriously, that's what they're saying. So people that are stuck outside, cause you know, Egypt got hit really hard with this. I know people who are stuck in Egypt that can't come back in. And they work here slash live here, but they have a better chance of going to America and going through 14-day quarantine than going home. That's crazy. That is crazy. Mm. Man, life has changed. Who would have thought, like, two months ago, someone said that the entire world was going to be on lockdown. Would you have believed them? No. No. Never. Like, I just thought this was going to be over January. I didn't think it was ever even going to be a real thing, but it is a world, okay. it is a worldwide pandemic. It is affecting everything. It really is. Except supply lines, because we still technically have food. People are just acting like we don't. Oh, I think what's amazing is that like, grocery store workers and obviously like healthcare professionals are pretty much keeping the world going. But just as far as like the world actually surviving, it is basically just down to delivery men and women and grocery store workers. Yeah. You know what? And they all deserve kudos. The medical, the like the store medical store. staff, kudos. Yeah. Mm-hmm. To still yeah. be going to work in those conditions, it's got to be crazy out there. Let's right. go, let's go to hobbies. Let's go to hobbies. Because this ties into like the food that you guys are talking about. Misty, tell us about your new little hobby. Oh, well, no. Okay, so I have a duck. It's not really my duck. It's kind of like, maybe it's the neighborhood duck. I've adopted this duck as mine. We've named the duck Feather Locklear. It is a neutral, um, a gender neutral duck because we don't know if it's a male or a female. So Feather Locklear covers everything. We use all of the, the neutral pronouns when we are talking about them. And I actually went and got it a pool. 
Okay, so I got in the pool, right? And I was so excited today. Actually, that's why I was late for this. I was looking out the window and Heather was putting her beak in the pool, like sipping the water and trying to Yay. keep whatever they had thrown on the floor, right? And I was just like, get in the pool, get in the pool. I was like, you can do it, just get in. She kept wanting, I could tell that Feather really wanted to get in the water, but the side might be too tall. So I'm technically oh, on lockdown. Stairs. After, yeah, after this, I mean, I saw a plank down there. So I got like an inflatable pool and the mm -hmm. side is kind of sagging and maybe I can put like a plank and they can just like walk into it. Mm -hmm. But I, I was like, I was, I was really hoping that Feather would get in. I could see it in the pool. It would have made my day. She kept dropping her food in there and then like trying to fish the food out, but like Z could not get in, so. Oh, do you they will now. have people in the, like in the complex um, in on it? So I don't know who brought this duck here because there's like a rooster and two hens and then there's the duck and they just are like wandering around outside on the street and then like this dirt lot that's across from my house. So I'm not sure, but everybody drops food out there so they can eat rice. And I put lettuce out today because I had some extra lettuce and um, they have fruit. Sometimes there's seeds. Did you say the duck and the rooster were taking a walk together? No, the rooster's really mean to Feather, right? Feather will be walking. The, I the rooster like a rooster. Were, like, yeah. were assholes. Didn't I tell you that? And y'all were yeah. laughing at me and kikiing it up and ha ha. And I was like, roosters are assholes. You just have to make a like a chicken noise at it and it'll run away. Yeah, I want to build a duck coop down there, but you know, maybe next. The Ace is closed. So the hardware store is closed. Everything is closed. I went out this weekend trying to get the materials for it, but everything was closed. You know, that's crazy. Lowe's and Home Depot are, are still open here. They're considered um, essential businesses. That's because America doesn't understand we're in a crisis right now. This is a worldwide pandemic. Like, we're in a global meltdown, and they still have businesses open, spreading the disease. No, I mean, they're considered essential. I, I can't think of what, what essential. I mean, if something breaks, we have to is fix essential. it. The bidet feature. Maybe that's it. That they sell <laughs> stuff to make bidets, and so because there's no <laughs> tissue. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, it's so, open. Like, Diabi, what is your hobby? What do you do while you're at home? I have taken up roller skating. I have always loved roller skating, but I never either had the nerve, the inclination, or just like like money to to do it. And I didn't realize until I got some skates. It is a really expensive hobby, but since I can skate around, <laughs> um, since I can skate around the neighborhood, uh, I got some outdoor wheels for my skates and just like was, I was having at it. It's, I go out for like two hours a day and skate around. Now I'm getting a little bit better. I can take the dogs out with me and walk them and skate at the same time. So, mm -hmm. um, that is my hobby, my exercise and my just kind of like, okay, I got to get out the house and, and do something. So that ties in like my exercise and, um, and hobbies. And it's, it's addicting. Cause you know, you'll see more content on YouTube and stuff. And Jerry does his tutorials. So I'm like, I think I finally like roped him into helping me progress because I'll like watch his video and then do like the moves and then send it to him. And I had to, I had to kind of stay on him because he, I don't know if he thought I was going to be flaky about it, but I was like, listen, Jerry, I want to learn how to do this stuff. Like show me how to do this stuff. Oh guys, did you see, um, uh, Chad responded on my picture that I posted on, uh, my personal Instagram. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. He, so I posted that picture of like the skate. And he said, take the, um, take the toe stops off. I was like, bruh. Those is are that the break? Yeah, man. I was like, this is my thing. <laughs> Chad, are you trying to kill her? So how do you stop then? Right. Um, on the skate, like, okay. there's a bunch of other, there's like a plow stop, there's a T stop. Um, well, there's okay, so there's stops. So there's okay. different stops that you can do. Um, to kind of slow down and I usually will do like the plow stop you're just kind of like making your stance a little wider and then bringing your feet in this way and drop your butt and that weight like stops your movement it slows your movement down to a stop so 
he was like, yeah, take the toe stops off. And I was like, okay, so I'll get dance plugs to, uh, to put in the front. Cause they're like short little like nubs that you can do like toe work and stuff. Oh, okay. I'm really in it. It's fun. Oh. I wish I had somebody that would do it. And I think like the closest person that I would have to, it would be like Lexi, but then she doesn't like to get on wheels. So no. like nobody in my family will do it with me. Y'all don't love me. Gary States. Like, so can right. you fly back to the States right now or has Bahamas shut down their travel as well? They shut down travel. You like in to... and out or just yeah. out? Unless you, I think Bahamians can still come in, but commercial flights, they've shut it down. Unless you are, I think the only flights that are allowed to go out are the ones going to Grand Bahama, Abaco, and um, oh, what was the other one? Harsh, Mar um, so those are like domestic for them, basically. Say what? They're domestic, domestic flights for them? Yes, because they're, still, they're doing reconstruction from the hurricane, so they don't want to shut mm -hmm. that down. So those are the only construction workers that are still allowed to work. And I think if they're like having to fly stuff in, those would be the only flights that are allowed to go out. I don't, mm -hmm. it didn't mention that on the call yesterday, but they did say that construction was still allowed to go. But as far as me going, no. They've, they shut down. They say when that will stop? No. That's got to be hard because that's killing their entire industry. I mean, not unlike Vegas, though. Like, all of the, um, the casinos are shut down, so there's no gaming. Even, like, the slot machines and grocery stores, they are all shut down. So that uh, wasn't going to open until, like, April 16th or 17th, I think. I think 16th mm -hmm. it ended, 17th it was supposed to open. But, you know... I think it was just announced that this is going to the end of April now, so we'll we'll wait to see what happens. But that's that's super scary for a lot of people that work in um, the hospitality industry because a lot of the big properties have been laying people off. Yeah, but that's like, like globally though, like yeah. that's everywhere. So yeah. I mean, if you, I mean, you could get you could have gotten stuck while traveling and you can't get back home because. Mm -hmm. It might not be that the country closed their borders, but it's because like airlines are can canceling their flights to those locations, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But once you get home, it's like, do I have a job? So even with the stimulus for us, I, I don't know how like long-term impactful that can be. I mean, that's, I would assume for most Americans, that's enough to get them through like one month of figuring things out after that. I think that's where the rush to like try and end this is coming from, even though we know the disease doesn't care about us paying our bills. Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm -mm. They it really comes down to like what we're doing for humanity to just keep people afloat, which that's unfortunate that the best that we can offer is to keep people afloat. It's such a weird world we're living in right now. Man, it really exposes a lot of stuff. Um, I think I'm trying to recall if this is the information that I got, but that they are kind of halting rent, having to pay mm. rent out here. Um, I, they didn't say if it was, or maybe I didn't completely understand if they're like going to ask for back pay or if they're just kind of like, you know, we understand we're not going to put you out. Times are tough. Um, mm. And looking in on, they're like, now that people are home more, what about kids that are like, you know, at risk? or, you know, like the potential abuse cases because you're home. And then there's this, um, uh, I, I don't know, like cloud over people that's just driving them kind of stir crazy. And are you going to check in on kids that are already, like we're already in the system being monitored for like abuse mm -hmm. cases and whatnot. And talking about how they were going to implement or influence people to stay in and, and do like patrols and stuff. So, I mean, from that element of like- <laughs> I did. I saw something on Instagram was like, man, this is when parents realize they hate their children. <laughs> it's <laughs> They're like, goddamn, how dare you give me my child back for this period of time? I cannot imagine. Like, sometimes my dogs are driving me crazy, but I cannot imagine having, like, you know, a bunch of kids that you have to educate and be around and deal with their boredom because you can't even send them out. Go play with your friends. Go, you know, do something. Like, you can't even send them outside, so it's just, what do you do with them? Bond. On Facebook, someone had posted, they're like, I keep on telling my kids, 
do you go to the refrigerator at school? No, then you don't go to the refrigerator here. You have lunch <laughs> and you have your snack. That is not going to be in my fridge and my pantry. It's like, that's got to be so real. Can you imagine how much you're spending on groceries now? Because they're just, they're probably eating because they're bored too. Man, what did somebody say they're like? I just, this mom was like, I just realized that school has officially began. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, everyone's no, got school has officially school. ended. It's like, mm -hmm. so we're at summertime now. She's like, it's April. We're at summertime. Oh, you guys start summer in April? No, that school is out for the year. So that's what it is. Where? You guys are not going to, kids are not going to school in Vegas. Oh, no. I mean, they're not going to school, but I assume that they would have to reconvene to, like, catch back up. Because, yeah, you're about to run into spring break, but I assume they'd go back. Although, like, graduations and whatnot are being pushed off. They're saying they're not going to do them. Can you imagine how sad that would be? They're letting people graduate without testing. They canceled all the testing. Well, I think they're still going to allow them to graduate. They just won't have, like, a ceremony. I can't imagine that you're going to tell, like, some 17-year-old who's ready to, like, move into college hey we gotta come back and you gotta redo this year because of the rona you can do your testing but, but you know um i think that's kuwait did all their stuff they moved online okay yeah well same so, here i think um like i've just been hearing parents talk about these apps so they're still having to submit their homework um electronically and then teachers are like checking work and even some classes are doing like Zoom classes where all the students have to be on, which can you imagine what that, gener that generally says? That you're trying to tell each student that they have to have like a camera. What do you do in low income neighborhoods that don't just readily have computers that have cameras? Yeah, everybody has a cell phone now and all cell phones have cameras. I mean, yes, but what do you do if you don't? That's a hard one. Mm. I thought Clark County was still trying to figure out how they were doing all this stuff. Why are we even talking about this? None of us have kids. <laughs> I don't know. It's just an interesting way that the world has changed. But you're right. You're right. I don't know their lives. I, the, the world has changed. That's, um, but, but I feel like this is going to be like a long-term, like, impact. So yeah. remote working for companies will be a real, re like, resolution for, um, when you can't come into the office, they'll realize how much money you save by not forcing somebody to come in and how like you can actually shrink your office space. This will also put like online learning um, as a tool for teachers to be able to interact further with children as they grow. I think this is positive. It's just a technological advance. I was reading like you have to, people need to like, entrepreneurs especially, need to really pay attention to this time so that you can feel like, you can figure out what you can like maximize because this is going to be the future now. I can see that. Okay. So Lexi, mm -hmm. what is the first place? Because Misty, well, not to, not to minimize how much you're working, Misty, but Lexi is going through it right now. And especially with the fact that it's March 30th and <laughs> you can't travel. Lexi, where's the first place that you want to go when oh. this travel ban is lifted? I've gone through a few places in my mind. First, I was like, I'm just going to go take a week and go to the beach. But I thought I was tired enough for it. But after a weekend, I realized I can get a weekend worth of sleep and I don't need the beach. I think I really want to go to Morocco. I just want to take like a week and a half and do a full country tour. I want to go sleep <laughs> in the sand dunes and then realize I hate it because there's sand flies. <laughs> I want to go to uh, their beaches there. And then realize, yep, still not a beach person. Want to go to get lost in the markets and overwhelmed by that. All of that sounds like heaven to me, minus the sand flies. Uh -huh. The way you explain it sounds very enthusiastic. Why would Lizzie, I what about you? Because you're on the go all the time. Where do you want to go? Oh, man. Um, I guess just a bunch of bit, like little weekend trips, because I will say what this has done it's made me sit down and you realize how much money you spend on different things. <laughs> and um, so what it's allowed me to really like focus. So we can, uh, trip, like, but what, like, even if you don't so have- So I want to do system. Egypt because in the region, I've not, I've not gone to Egypt yet. So mm -hmm. I want to go to Cairo and I can do that in two days. And then I, I've not gone to Oman 
and did like their wildy their wadis, which is like they have really outdoor, really pretty outdoors. And then um, Sri Lanka, I really wanted to go to Sri Lanka because it's just a gorgeous place to go. And I wanted to, I've always wanted to go to Zanzibar. Obviously, I don't think all of these are gonna happen this year. Huh? These are all weekend trips that you haven't taken yet? I don't even understand you. Well, because I actually am always gone. I'm actually always doing something. Hey, Misty, are you cold? No. Because the shade has just come all over you. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. You're not like, chilling? <laughs> These are weekend trips that you could have been taking and you haven't. Well, you've been Zanzibar, going back and forth Zanzibar to Dubai like 50 trip. times. Can you even count how many times you've been to Dubai? Hey, hey Misty, duck. Oh, fine. duck and cover. It's coming at you. Pew, pew, pew. Is this pew, 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 pew. <laughs> and then Lexi's over here. Damn. I am almost indignant <laughs> with rage. Oh, dare you. I, go, I go home. I, I ended up being home a lot last year. You know what I want to do? I was home. You weren't here. <laughs> I was home. You weren't where I was at, but it was home. Shots fired. Shots fired. Wow. <laughs> really you have to come You actually just really chest. just gets a bit aggressive. Nobody asked you for all of that energy. Calm down. I have to say, and having known Lexi all my life, that was probably <laughs> on like on the aggressive scale, more like less aggressive than more aggressive. You know, OG little hands can get cray cray, especially with like the the fact that you have the ability to travel, and places are a lot closer. You know, like mm -hmm. she's like how. But I've gone a lot of places. I okay. do have to work. They have changed my vacation policy. Yep. So like now, because I haven't gone anywhere, I have all these extra days. But like technically, mm -hmm. I was supposed to be. I blocked out this time to go to the states. By the time I fly, twenty hours back to the states. And then, so it's, it's 18 hours back to the East Coast. And then I had another four and a half hour flight to the West Coast. You know, it's just, I've lost a day. And then you lose another day coming back. So, I mean, I would love just to quit and just travel, you know? Really, that's all I, my spirit would love. Like, we're not even talking about coming days. back to the States. I said some weekend trips. You said these are your weekend trips? Yeah, yeah. Start taking those weekend trips, Misty. Start taking those. Those were the words she said. Those were the phrases she put out of her lips. They sure were. I have other stuff going on. Anyway. Okay. You know what I want to do? Because I live in such a, um, like, a, a leisure destination, I want to go do something like active, like wherever that swing is that you go over the cliff, right? The <laughs> swing Brazil? is nowhere, something no. like that. Argentina? No. I don't think it's Argentina. Bali? I feel like it's South it's America. Some, it's somewhere, yeah, somewhere South America. Like I want to do that or like I want to do Machu Picchu. I want to go do that hike like in its entirety, but I really need to use this COVID time to like do some lunges and some squats and some running to um, add. Oh, you want to do like the entire hike? I want to do the entire hike. I want to do, um, and this is, I, like, I want to go to another country first, and then I want to go back to the States and go to the Grand Canyon and do that three-day or five-day, like, hike down there where you have to bring all of your stuff with you, and you go and, like, you hmm. camp, and it's, like, a guided thing. Because I can't right. imagine, like, the Grand Canyon is beautiful anyway, but, like, mm -hmm. being down there in nature, right. those right. photos, are you kidding me? That's going to be, like, Alaska. Postcards do not Just a spoon. Huh? I really hope that Sam is the one who wants to do that with you because it's not us. It's not me. Yo. I feel like you should go on. No, I don't want to One of these vacations, we are doing stuff. One of these vacations. This is, Lexi, don't you I will go to Machu you. Picchu with you. I'm just going to take the train up. I'll catch you at the top. <laughs> no. <laughs> Can you imagine, like, how great this is going to be for people to see? That. Yeah, that's why you're going to do it. Get your GoPro. You're going to film it. And then I'm going to film the train ride oh, so that we can do contrast. We'll do something mild for you, Lexi. We'll do something mild for you. But we did your museums and shit. Did we, though? You fought we me did. to nail. Yes, yes. I vividly remember. I mean, fighting, doing. She did do them. Oh, okay. So I'll fight you that entire way up the mountain. I'm going to use up all the oxygen that I have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's dragging you, Lexi. I'm leaving you. That's it, right? <laughs> um, yeah, so I want to do something like just super physical or, or something fun to like check off my 
my to-do list or like my uh not bucket list necessarily but like a to-do list i want to want to get out so i think we are getting to our time we can either a wrap it up now or b go on to another session y'all got more to say are we good how you feeling fam <laughs> Take your we're good i got stuff to do today I hope everybody does not go completely crazy and kill whoever they are quarantining with in the house. Remember, mm -hmm. this is about time for bonding and loving one another, really getting to know them, and um, just really set your mind on some some really positive things. You know, this is an experience yeah. where you can connect with your deeper truths, find yourself, and you, you just enjoy the people that you're surrounded by. We can all make this a better place. Also, social distancing. Wash your hands and uh, wear a face mask. Oh, uh, it's the truth. Yeah. Thank you. Bye. Great seeing you. Bye, guys. Bye. Love y'all. Bye. Bye.